Hello everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you the activities that I have on the shelf for my one and my two year old. And these are learning activities that help promote fine motor skills, language, math, critical thinking and so much more. So here I have the shelf for my one year old and then right next to it I have the shelf for my two year old. I can't wait to share with you what I have for my one year old. So let's get started with this shelf first. So starting off with the object permanence box, this is a great box to practice those fine motor skills by putting the coin through the little slot there. And I have made a video of the importance of object permanence and why and how Montessori uses it. And how you can create your own box out of recycled materials and I'll link that video below in the description box. It's a great activity for little ones and then they love finding the coins inside when they're done putting the coins through it. The next activity is going along with this brown brown bear book which we love reading here in our home and it's also a classic and here I have some pom poms and the box that I recycled and put a picture of a bear on it. I'll link below where you can get a free printable for this activity. Here I have these miniature pom poms and the child is going to be putting it through to feed the bear. I purposely chose these miniature pom poms so the child has to use their pincer grasp to grab the pom poms and focus on of those fine motor skills. This is a great activity. It's going to also help the child with hand-eye coordination and focus. The next activity, I have another object permanence and this is dropping the ball. This is another great activity and again I'm going to link below a video that explains the importance of object permanence. This is good for hand-eye coordination, for concentration, and it's also really easy to make if you want to make your own with recycled materials. The next activity is working with nursery rhymes. Here I have a principle for the, for the top 10 nursery rhymes for children. And I'm going to link these files below so that you can work nursery rhymes with really help with language development. The next activity is working with this recycled container I have here. A yogurt container and some popsicle sticks. I made a hole at the top of the yogurt container and the child is going to again practice that hand-eye coordination, the concentration, and um, those fine motor skills. And uh, at this age, children really love putting things through containers. So anything you can find that they can put through a container, they're going to really love doing and it's going to help their development. You can also use straws or clothespins to do this activity. The next activity I have is a discovery basket. I put things here that are intriguing and interesting and I try to use a multi-sensory approach from things that they can feel, things that they can hear, things that they can touch and explore. Children at this age love to explore and love to touch things and being able to have a little basket that they can explore Safely is very important for children and their development. Here I have little bowels. I have a little doll. I also have little boxes because children love opening and closing little boxes. And inside of the boxes, I like to put little different things that they can find every time. And it's just really fun and they love doing that. So in these discovery baskets, I like putting different things every time. And the child really has fun exploring something new every time they see the basket. Next, I'm moving to my two-year-old's activities and we're starting off with this tower. This is a great activity to work on the hand-eye coordination and to work on colors. So I call out a color and he hits the color that I call out. And it's just really fun 
him and the one-year-old love doing the activity and um, sometimes I'll call two colors out like can you hit the blue and the green um, and sometimes I just let them play however they want they just love seeing the balls drop and then they go and get them and start all over again I always have the children put the activities back when they're done this is to teach them a sense of order and organization then the child gets to pick another activity from the shelf. Here we're going to work on this matchstick logic game. I'm going to link anything that I'm using in the video in the description box of the video below the video. So here we have an activity where you roll a die and it gives you a color. Then you get the little stick that has the same color and you put it down into the hole. And you keep doing that until you have used all of the sticks. It's really fun and so you just keep rolling the die if you have run out of that particular color you just roll it again and go to the next color until you have finished the activity this is great for uh, working on color recognition working on focus and working on the fine motor skills again The next activity is a sorting activity. Here we have a recycled box. We have some pictures of cats, dogs, and horses. And these pictures are um, of realistic dogs, cats, and horses. Some of them are hiding. Some of them are under things. And the child really has to use their visual discrimination to be able to tell whether it's a cat, a horse, or a dog. So this is a great activity for visual discrimination and concentration. The next activity is these three piece puzzles. Have the child turn the pieces over and switch it around so that they can get it out of place and then turn it back around so that they can put the puzzle together. And this is a great activity. As you know, puzzles are just great for brain development, for critical thinking, for logic. And so this is an easy way to start children to learn about puzzles and how to put puzzle pieces together. I'm going to link this resource below in the description box of the video. Um, I also like to go over the vocabulary words on the cards, on the puzzles. And you can also use it as a phonics activity where they're sounding out the different letters. 
and then blending them if they're ready for that. So you can use these for phonics and for reading as well. The next activity is using these paper plates. I've written some numbers on it from one through five and I also put some, some stickers on it, some dot stickers, but you could also draw the little dots on it. And this is a number quantity activity. I have little blocks here and the child is going to put the corresponding number of blocks for each plate. This is good one-to-one -one correspondence and, and learning number quantity. I also have them matching the uh, magnetic number to the numbers so this is also good number recognition as well Next, I have some books on the shelf. I like reading at least three books a day so that I am focusing on developing literacy and language. Here we have a Momo book, Finding Momo. This is good for visual discrimination as the child has to find the objects in a picture. And they just have so much fun finding the objects and this is one of our favorites. We love these Find It books. Here's a Dr. Seuss books that my kids love, Mr. Brown, Ken Moo and it rhymes and they just love hearing the different sounds and here's another classic that we're reading today chicka chicka boom boom and it's great for learning the alphabet and the letters so now we're going to work on our let's find momo book This next activity is a wooden shape sorter and these pieces have different holes and the holes correspond to different numbers so you can use it for number quantity you can use it to teach shapes and the child has to use, use their spatial awareness to understand that not every piece can fit in any spot they have to be able to spit to fit the pieces where they go so you're using some logical reasoning as well um, so this is a great way to teach multiple things at once, from shapes to number quantity um, to logic. And I'll link this below again in the description box.
This next activity is using these pattern blocks with these pattern cards. And this is a great activity to focus on shape and color recognition. At the same time, the child is using problem solving um, as they are going to be finding the pieces and making sure that they are going to fit in the particular spots. Um, so it's using logic and reasoning. I think it's a great way also children love being able to create something um, and at the end being able to see the little creations that they can make and the, this is a little man here today but they also have uh, animals and all different types of things that they can create with these pattern cards and I'll link these below again in the description box. I hope you have enjoyed this video for activity ideas for one and two year old children. If you want to see what I have on my activity shelf for my five, seven and nine year old, please let me know. Go over to my community tab and let me know in the comments. Anything that I mentioned in the video is going to be below the description box of the video. Uh, if you want to see more activity videos like this, if you find these helpful, give me a thumbs up. This way I will know that you want to see more videos like this. Also, please remember to subscribe to my video so that you never miss a video and click on the notification bell. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye!